children know that nobody has to do anything for you. And being thankful is a choice. And we live in a society where people feel entitled. And we're going to celebrate with smiles on our face. We're about to get food and we're going to eat good. Amen. My, my, my granddaughter just said, Grandma, we're going to get one of these turkeys. I said, I sure wish we could. So if people don't show up, you can go and throw one out the door. Because I don't know who's going to want to be blessed here today. Nobody will ever know what this gesture means. It's bigger than a turkey and it's bigger than food. But let me tell you something, he couldn't do anything he could do, whether you have a vision, but you didn't have companies or people that supported you. God has blessed us to bless you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So that's what our intent is, to bless you. Yes, ma'am. No matter what it is, we come through that we are a basic needs provider. Yes. Food, clothing, and shelter. Hello, everyone. How are you all? God bless you. Thank you for your inspiring words. Anytime we have something here, we just call her. Even if it's the last minute, she always comes through for us. So thank you. Uh, let me first before, well, let me do this. You, you've heard the sponsors, and let me just say this. I can't do anything without my sponsor. That's it. I didn't buy them turkeys, my sponsors did. Amen. So I think it's important that we understand Yes, because it's a Tracy Wyatt turkey giveaway. Tracy Wyatt is about one turkey. My sponsor came through and said, if you want to do it, we'll do well help So I want this person to thank all my sponsors who always help. And if you look on this wall up here, I pray the wall for all the sponsors that get out of this community and in this facility. And so I think it's important that we recognize the people who are willing to always come to the forefront and say, oh, yeah. Amen. And so, you know, I, I just feel so blessed that I can pick up the phone and call somebody and they know we're going to do the right thing Amen. and they're willing to say, well, yeah. So thank, I want to personally thank all our sponsors. Thank you. Amen. Positions open for jobs, y'all. I need some housekeepers. I need a cook. Anybody know how to cook breakfast food? I need a breakfast cook, okay? My sister back there says me. I need four housekeepers, a breakfast cook. I need a night auditor. Somebody know how to work the front desk. Know how to be friendly, not rude. I don't want no rude people. Know how to be friendly at the front desk. Work the from a family of 10. Uh, we didn't always have, uh, you know, Thanksgiving as, as plentiful as we would like. So it's just a matter of my upbringing, knowing that if I ever got an opportunity to do something for others so that they won't have to go through the same thing I went to, it's just an honor. But it's not about me. It's about the people who, who surrounded me, who have come together and said, Councilman, if you want to do it, we're here to support you. We'll make it happen. So I really want to give the, the honor to the sponsors who actually actually came out and supported down the work and bought the turkeys. And we had about six sponsors that was a part of this. We fed 100 families. And uh, like I said, we do it on an annual basis. And it's just nice to, to see uh, people come up and know that they're going to have something for Thanksgiving. It's good people to do good work. And these are some of the people that, that actually does the good work. And, and you have to give them all the credit. Mercedes. Mercedes, but well, we couldn't do this without Councilman Wyatt. He's the one that inspires us to keep on keeping on. Yes. Yes. It is so it takes the whole village, yes. Mercedes, everyone, Tamika, all the help we can get. It takes all of us. Wonderful. What do you think about the Hilton Group's benevolence to participate in this? Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we're 
we're excited. We're excited to continue to partner with the city, to partner with Councilman Wyatt to do all these awesome things for the community. It is We are big community service partners. It's big in our culture with Hilton Hotels. We preach that. We walk the walk. We talk the talk. And we want to continue to partner. Whatever the city needs, we're right there for it. And I've got an executive with the city on this end, and you take the gloves off and you jump right in. H has that always been a part of your heart? Because I heard you talk about getting up every morning. Tell me a little bit about what motivates you to, to give back. Um, well, I'm in hospitality, and hospitality is all about service, and I'm here to serve. I want to be a service to the community as well as to the business area. And I live in Councilman uh, Wyatt's ward, so I want to be a blessing to the people in the ward. Wow. Councilman, what do you say about all of this love and benevolence that's standing around you? What, what, what else could you say from the heart? I, I, I can only say a couple of words. God is good. And that's I'll leave it at that. All the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Thank you. Thank you.